All right, guys, so basically what I just did was ask on Twitter for uh, your FIFA 13 questions. I'm going to go ahead and try to answer as many as possible. Uh, I did a forum thread on this on the FIFAHub.com uh, a little while back, and it seemed to go down pretty well. So I'm going to try to answer as many of the questions that you guys just asked me on Twitter. In the background, you're going to be seeing some FIFA 13 HD gameplay. So enjoy that, and we'll see if uh, your questions can get answered. The first question from uh, at LazyCutter says, Japes, how do you pull the back heel pass in... And ND in and around the box consistently. Most times players turn when I try to do that. The key to doing that is you have to be hitting the right bumper and A in order to do that. It's a fancy pass, and players will use the back heel rather than turning around. Uh, let's see. Christy Durrell says, are the clubs AI better? That I can't tell you. Um, I did not play clubs at the FIFA 13 event. However, I can say that the AI, I'm, it's my understanding that the AI rating, the player rating, is based on the average rating of the players in your club. So if you and all your friends are have an 85 rated average, then the CPU player average is going to be an 85 as well. This should make for quite a bit more of a balanced game and people not willing to exploit their virtual pro just as much. Uh, Sam Salt Hill says best feature about career mode that I couldn't tell you as I have not played that at all career mode is kind of one of those things for me where it's a nice idea and I do indeed like it but playing the CPU is just not that fun I played a grand total of I think three games on the demo just because after playing against users the AI is just really really tough and boring for me to go back to also I'll apologize if I sound a little nasally still rocking that cold uh, Osh, it's Riley or at Riley SFC says, what's the best new feature and why FIFA 13? Uh, for me, it's got to be the complete dribbling combined with the first touch. It's just going to slow gameplay down. Uh, it feels more realistic. It allows you to, you know, I guess it plays to my strengths, which is kind of that small or short, quick passing style. So I'm excited about that. For me, that's the best feature. The attacking AI as well. It makes the game feel more fluid. Uh, so it's, I said it before, FIFA 13 is a lot of seemingly small changes that combine together to just be an absolutely crazy wholesale change. Lewis White says, who are your favorite defenders on the game? Now, the best defenders that I've used are Pepe, uh, David Luiz, and then the Subitz, and uh, probably Subitich is a little bit better than Hummels, or the Subitich-Hummels combo, combo for Dortmund, as you guys may or may not know in the demo now, are excellent together. Uh, there have been a few other stellar, you know, standout performers. Well, maybe not standout performers as much, but a, f a lot of quality guys. You know, that's PK was excellent for me when I've used him. Um, Ramos was okay. Pepe is better than Ramos, at least in the build that I played. That was the case. Let's see. Darren McDougie Dog says, "Does Messi feel like he will be more effective in FIFA 13?" Yeah, absolutely. With the addition of first touch control, complete dribbling, all things of that nature. Um, in fact, I have to find a clip. I have a clip where Messi manages to squeeze by David Luiz as he's trying to body him, just with the way the complete dribbling will work and uh, the way Messi's got a high balance rating. I think so. It works out very, very well. Drake says, "Who was your favorite player and team?" I'm assuming you're referring to the event, and that's going to be Manchester City, um, and that's just because I did very, very well with them. Same with Real Madrid. They're excellent to play with. Uh, KE or Aknode says, does Suarez have a real face? That I can't tell you because I didn't look at real faces at all. It's just not my style. Uh, oh, man, we got to go through a lot now. All right. Uh, ben Sambuco says, what's your goal for FUT 13? Uh, my goal is to get the power. Same as before. Uh, I'll be doing Path to Power in FIFA 13. Almost, uh, it started off almost directly. Um, so that's that will be the goal, I guess, to get the power, get loads of coins, and enjoy it. That's really what Ultimate Team and FIFA is all about. It's having a good time, enjoying it, and living out your virtual football dreams. Uh, Linus Norman says, Do you think that ultra offensive counterattack strategy will be less powerful compared to FIFA 12? Absolutely. Um, in FIFA 13, if a team sits back and plays, now the counter, don't get me wrong, the counter is going to be effective, and it, that's going to be effective because. If you lose the ball in midfield, or if you lose the ball with one of your center mid holding mids, and the opposition is able to counter, you're attacking. The attacking AI takes over so well with the strikers that they're instantly thinking about trying to get in behind the center backs or the defenders that are still back there. Now, on the flip side of that, ultra defensive is going to cause you to sit, sit, sit way, way back inside your own penalty area, and it's extremely easy to keep the ball and hold retain possession outside of that area. So I don't think it's going to work as well for people that used it uh, heavily in FIFA 12. 
Um, do you feel as though the CPU contains so much? Because I really do, FIBA 13. That's from at Chris MCFC. I uh, it's the computer AI, man. It does it really, you know, it doesn't really matter. I don't know. <laughs> They're playing defense to the best of their AI ability, but I just don't like uh, the AI as well. I skill FIFA says is Charisma still five star skills? The answer to that is yes, I believe. In fact, yes, I'm sure. Check out the Portugal versus Germany gameplay that I put up, I believe, yesterday. Uh, do Demba Bond Puppy C say have real faces? Don't know. Not something that I checked. Uh, let's see. Have you, Sophie J says, have you played clubs, created a pro? If so, how is it? I have not yet, but that will be probably the first thing that I do once I get my hands on FIFA 13 um, is start working on my virtual pro. How do you chip it up to a player for a free kick? And that's again from Ushitz Riley. Uh, really simple. You hold left trigger to like you'd be taking a second man free kick. And depending on if you want to go to the what would be the original free kick taker or the you know the extra runner uh, is how much you tap X. So if you want it to go to the original free kick taker, you just tap X. If you want it to go a little bit farther, then you press X and give it a little bit more umph. Let's see, Matt Bailey says, when 1v1, is it easier to finesse or power uh, in near or far post? It really depends on the situation, man, and it depends if they've rushed their keeper out. Uh, it's it's kind of hard to say. If you're running straight down the middle, one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, um, and say you're a little bit over to... I, Basically, my rule of thumb is always take it with a player's preferred foot. You really can't go wrong with that and go for whatever post is near their preferred foot. That's what I've done for the majority of FIFA 12, and it has worked out for me more often than not. Uh, Dr. Dens or Ad Dennis is says is skilling becoming harder. Um, I've got mixed mixed answers to that because defending has become a bit more difficult. So the clever skillers will still be quite good at this or should be quite good at this game. Now some of the skill moves feel a little bit toned down, uh, but for the most part, I don't think skillings become harder. I, I, and to be fair, if it has become harder, I don't really see that as being a problem. Just for the sake that. It was really, really easy, and like FIFA 9, FIFA 10, FIFA 11, skilling was extremely easy, and you saw a lot of skillers. You've seen skillers get toned back a little bit. Obviously, there's still people sc spamming skills, and tons of people that have no idea to use to contain defending, but for the most part, uh, I wouldn't say it's becoming harder. In fact, some of it felt like it was a little bit easier to me, so that's, I guess, exciting for you. Skill. It's just, it's all about using skills in the right place in the right time, and you will be successful with them. Uh, Tom Grace says, what player are you most looking forward to using in Ultimate Team? Uh, that's a bit of a, t I think probably, I don't know, Franck Ribéry. Obviously, I'm a Bayern fan, and Ribéry is incredible on FIFA 13. So the combination is something that I'll be looking forward to. Marco Royce and Andre Schoeller also are going to be exceptionally good. Um... Uh, they're obviously La Liga is going to be excellent. A La Liga Bundesliga hybrid is definitely something that I'm going to look into building because the ball control and passing from uh, La Liga splashed with a little bit of strength and pace from the Bundesliga uh, should be a quite a fun thing to work with. Did you play as Tottenham? And if so, uh, if you did, who was good and their best player? I did play with Tottenham and they still had Luka Modric. So I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, let's see. FIFA 13, what was your highest score? Uh, I'm not quite sure if you're referring to an in actual match. In actual match, I think I scored five or six nil at one point or two points. Uh, Tiago Alcantara was three or four star skills in the version you played. That's from Finemo Meni, uh, and I do not remember. I probably scrolled over him, but did not use him. Uh, let's see, Airjips. Uh, that's from Casper Muhlenbach. How can Matias Fernandez, the fake Rabona King from Fiorentina, used to play for Sporting, still be four star skills? And the way the skill ratings work is EA has what's called talent scouts and essentially what it is is you can apply to be a talent scout for a certain team or certain club or certain region and those people are responsible for giving EA what they think would be the best ratings the skill star ratings and all of that stuff so it's not necessarily directly EA HQ that's responsible for the skill ratings it's it's down to normal people like you and I that go out and they watch these games and some of them probably are a little bit you know maybe they don't watch as much as they should or they don't really play FIFA as hardcore uh, but there's, I think you can search out EA Talent Scout on Twitter and follow them and try to apply or whatnot. But that's why he would still be four star and not five. Uh, let's see. George Phillips says best keeper. Iker Casillas was unbelievable. Double save, triple save. And so it was Joe Hart. Ruben Gersten says, how much of a factor do you think pace will be? Uh, it's not near as much of a factor as it has been in the past. 
Now this is, uh, it's relative, because pace was the biggest factor in the past. Now it's still important in the fact that you can still exploit, uh, or you can use pace on a counterattack, but it's not as big of an effect. If you take the right angle with your center back, you're never really going to get run by. Uh, it's not one of those before that you could run in this big arcing pattern with a striker and still manage to get by the center back. This is one of those where if you take the right angle, you're going to be sorted out. It's not going to be as big of an issue. The game felt slower. Now, this is head-to-head. -head. This isn't Ultimate Team, which I didn't get to play. Now, Ultimate Team, I played one game of FIFA 12 Ultimate Team yesterday, and it felt so fast and arcadey to me. So I'm really hoping that it's toned back a little bit in 13. Obviously, it's something like that just takes a little bit of getting used to, but hopefully it will be a little bit slower. Uh, Nils or at Lompfan92 says, will it be possible to play the skill games with your virtual pro? I assume that it will be, but I am not completely sure on that. Let's see, Shane Lawton says, Hey, Japes, do you think FIFA Ultimate Team will be any good? Yeah, of course, man. Ultimate Team has been great since they released it. Uh, when's the web, web app release? That's from Chris Brown. That I do not know. My guess would either be the very end of this week or the very beginning of next week. I think it'll m more than likely be on Monday, but don't quote me on that because this is just me guessing and uh, throwing throwing days out there, essentially. Is there a retro kit for Arsenal and FIFA 13? I'm sure there is. Uh, there were retro kits for all the big clubs, so I'm sure Arsenal has one as well. Uh, did I get, is Elkison's five-star skills still? That's from Lewis White. I believe he still was five-star skills in the build that we played. Um, let's see, at AirJ, this is from Atsteinen. Are you spending your FIFA 12 coins on bid tokens? No, I'm not, because I believe they have actually eliminated bid tokens now for the first time ever. So that's great news, but uh, kind of goes against what I was planning on doing before. Uh, at Dan or Danny Barrett says, how many free packs do you get at the start for a returning FUT player? I believe it's two. Um, that's what it's been in all the years past, so that is what I'm going to guess it is this year. Uh, let's see. What's the Monty Python or at C Kavicic 52 says, what is the biggest difference from the demo and the FIFA you played at EA? Uh, the pace of the game is definitely different. Um, I played a very, uh, what seemed to be a faster, more fluid version. Uh, and I was playing against human users. It's really hard to base what's going to be different when you're playing against an AI versus when you're playing against a human. Uh, Nathan says, why is Giroud so bad? Uh, I would tend to disagree with that statement, as a lot of people very much enjoyed using Giroud at the event. Uh, what's the best button to hold when collecting the ball and trying to attack? Uh, if you're receiving a pass, left trigger or L2 on the PS3 is a very, very good button to hold because you'll just try to, you'll just essentially keep your touches a good bit closer. Uh, James says, can you do a video of you playing real football? Um, I suppose I could work on doing something like that. How will you get for completing all the skill games? I'm assuming that's what will you get for completing all the skill games. That's from Babar Army. Uh, I'm not sure if, I'm sure there's accomplishments and things of all that nature. Um, let's see, any new virtual pro stuff? I'm sure there will be. Oh man, there's just flying in and we're only at 12 minutes, so we'll just kind of keep it going. I know it's going to be a long commentary for those of you guys that are still listening, so feel free to skip around or uh, hopefully this is answering a lot of your questions and helping you out. How many seasons will you be able to do on career mode? Still 15? That's from Luke. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't play through one season on career mode, so I'm the wrong guy to ask that question. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is from Hasmunde. The first touch aspect in the demo we're playing is to show what it can do on an exaggerated scale. Full full version better? Yeah, the full version's a lot different. It's very, very good. Um, and it's it's just a lot. It's just a lot different. So don't don't take the demo as your end all be all and make sweeping judgments. One of the things that kind of drives me nuts with demos, and I'm I'm guilty of this as well. In past years, I'll get the demo and be like, oh, this game sucks. I'm not getting it. I don't want to play it at all. And then I get the real game and I love it. You're in, you're out. So uh, you know if you're if you've played you know five, six, seven, even twenty demo games, you're really not getting the real game and you're playing something totally different. You're just getting an idea. So don't make sweeping judgments and just let it be until the full game comes out. Let's see. Where am I going? Messi or Ronaldo? That's from Edgar Garcia. I pff, Messi, I guess. I've said this plenty of times. Why is Cazorla not in the demo? Because it's an older build and uh, they hadn't transferred him yet at that point in time. Is the gameplay pretty much the same as the demo or different? That's from Ad Jakey. Uh, it's extreme. It's very, very different. Um, so that's that's not an issue. Give us a video with Arsenal. I don't think I have a video with Arsenal. Uh, let's see. 
if you'd make your virtual pro in FIFA 13 purple or pink afro, I hate the afro kids, so I will, I'll be rocking some sort of sleek looking haircut, trying to look sharp, suave, you know, that's, that's generally, I guess that's generally more my style. I dare, uh, let's see, Will Caffrey says, still deck deciders, any trade videos for the web app? Yeah, we'll definitely do trade videos for the web app when it comes out, that's maybe when my path to power will start, because I gotta start building my team one way or another. Now, as far as deck deciders go, that'll probably start up once I get a good bit more ultimate team coins, because it's kind of hard to get some of the higher rated players if indeed I don't have the coins to do it. Uh, let's see. Will modified formations like the 4231 and 4231 wide be in FUT 13? That's from Aaron uh, or at IX Aza. And the answer to that is yes. Um, my understanding is that they have added new formations to Ultimate Team. Now, I don't know if they've added those two formations directly, but there will be more formations in Ultimate Team. Sophie J, I am answering questions, so you could be in such a troll. Will there be any new international teams? I believe I saw India on the international team menu, um, and obviously we have the Saudi League. I'm not sure what other national teams were in there. I think Peru was in there, but they might have been in the other one as well, so I'm just not quite that. I'm, not, I'm just not quite sure on that. Uh, I don't think you can create your own kits in Ultimate Team for this FIFA, and I do not know if National Team kits are in there. That is not something that I asked. Uh, let's see. Wang Wang says, I would consider my both myself and you a good player. Would you dramatically worse at FIFA now it's a new game? No. Uh, if you've got, like I've said in some of my videos, if you have a nice footballing IQ or if you... Um, you know, if you, have a, if you have a good feel for the game in general, you're going to be fine on this FIFA. Uh, how do you use complete dribbling effectively? Uh, that I will try to do in a video coming up, so stay tuned for that. But as far as tutorials and stuff like that goes, I refuse to put out a tutorial or a how-to video without putting in significant hours on the game because I feel like I will be uh, betraying you guys or not giving you guys the full story there. I don't want to give you guys uh, false info or you know the wrong technique or tactic to do it, especially when I could teach you how to do it a little bit better. So no rush on the how-to videos, or some of them, I'll try to get them out as quickly as possible, obviously, but I don't want to give you guys any false information. Uh, let's see, this is Joey Parr, do the top net, the best net, penalties get saved if the keeper doesn't move in FIFA 13, I'm assuming it still goes over his head, though I didn't see it, everybody at the uh, event knows that if you're going to, if you're going to stay down the middle, you have to hit up on the right stick to, uh, to stop that. Let's see, are headers too weak? I've played the demo and not a single header from a corner has gone in on target. Nope, headers are still quite good from corners as well, so uh, you can check my videos. I've done quite a bit of that recently. Do players make more intelligent runs for corners or do you have to make custom set pieces? Oh, they made pretty good runs. It's really about delivery. Make sure you change to um, a good free kick taker to put your corners in and he'll put it on a good spot and hopefully you'll have a player there to nod it in. Anyways, guys, that's coming to the close of this Q&A. If you guys did enjoy it and you would like more of this stuff, go ahead and leave a like or a comment uh, and let me know. All, the, all your feedback and all your support really does help me out. Other than that, uh, there will be a link to all the FIFA 13 playlist videos, tips, and all that good stuff that I've done so far on the screen somewhere by now. And uh, my name is Japes, and I will catch you all next time.